Hey, Kapasa Mufasa, it's Brendan back with another video. Recently, I went to California. If you haven't seen my video, I will post it down in the description below. I went to California, I recorded uh, a vlog and some um, uh, what's titled The Portrait of California for YouTube and got some good responses. Some people were interested in some of the gear that I was using, so I figured I would make a video today talking about the gear that I brought with me to California. And it's not quite a lot of gear as you, what you would expect. So anyways, with that being said, let's get the video started. All right, so we're gonna start with the camera body. The camera body that I bought was the A7S III and I recorded the entire journey on the A7S III. I'm starting to think that the A7S III is the best camera right now on the market for both photo and video. I was able to record great, great video that was shot in 10-bit 4K60 amazing quality it's super easy to edit kind of easy to edit on your computer computer kind of struggles a little bit um, but if you make some proxies you should be good um, and you know what the 12 megapixel files from the camera shooting in raw is plenty especially if you're just using it for social media and you're traveling and you just want to show people like the sites that you're seeing and posting that to instagram and facebook 12 megapixels is more than enough now if you do zoom in or you do crop a little bit on your 12 megapixel camera forget about it you're gonna lose all the resolution and it will start pixelating pretty quickly so that's the only downside to that but a7s3 great great video camera so now we're going to talk about the drone that I brought now. I got a question on my California video about what drone that I use. And the drone that I'm using is the DJI Mavic Air 2. And the reason it's not the Air 2S is one, I don't got a million dollars coming out of my butt every second, so I can't. I just bought this dang thing. Okay, I just bought it. And then Mavic comes, of course, it, it, you know, have you ever done that? Have you ever bought something and you're like, fine, you save up and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna buy it. And you pull the trigger and you buy it, whatever gear, camera gear is. And then like the next week that company's announcing that they just, they just released the new version of that thing that you just bought. Has that ever happened to you? Let me know down in the comments below. Cause that's what happened with this thing. It's fine, it's fine. This thing still performs well. It flies extremely well. I've also used the, the Pro 2, the Mavic Pro 2, and I've used this one. And this thing is just such, so fun to fly. It is really, really a fun thing to fly. Um, it has those quick shots, you know, allows you to do, you know, tracking. It, it really is gotten so much better. I remember flying one of the original Mavics, the one where you had to get the suitcase. You had to bring those big suitcases and then you had to lay your suitcase down. You unload the thing, you drop it onto the, you know, and then you gotta like, okay, you set everything up and then you have this huge drone flight. You just, now we got this, if it's, very small, it's like the size of my hand, maybe wider, maybe about as wide as the camera, probably as wide as the camera. And so this thing is tiny now. It's just, it's really incredible the, the technology, how good it's gotten. It's got eight bit color, you know, I shoot most of my stuff in 4K24 and I just put it into tripod mode and I fly really slowly. So it looks like it's slow motion, but it's not. And I get the best kind of quality possible. You know, in post color grading the footage, you know, when you're shooting in decent, you like, it's kind of like their log profile and being able to grade the footage um, wasn't that bad actually you know what the image doesn't fall apart the, the drone is nice the little remote I wish it could be smaller I wish like you didn't have to take out these little thumb screws all the time and screw them in um, I'm always afraid that I'm gonna lose them or that I pull it out of my bag and the thumb screws are gonna be missing from you know the bottom of this and for like a thousand bucks you get you know two extra batteries you get ND filters and the chargers and the bag it's just really 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 great great value and I'm gonna keep this probably for at least another year or two so right now I'm shooting on the A7S III but I've also got the 24 millimeter GM uh, on there the G Master lens great great lens for vlogging it is great for just walking around and shooting photos it is a fantastic fantastic lens and obviously I can't take it off the lens because I'm using it to record I use it to record all my videos all my vlogs with you get that 1.4 aperture so you lets in a lot of light you can shoot in low light I've shot stuff at night with it and uh, with a7s3 those two combined I really believe the 24 is perfect for vlogging a lot of people like to use that 16 to 35 2.8 G master lens which I get it it's a great lens also don't get me wrong with the with a7s3 and the low light capabilities having a 2.8 versus a 1.4 aperture is not really going to make a difference um, but for me personally i like that you know that to get that bokeh it's a unique look when you're on a 24 millimeter focal length and you still get like super blurry backgrounds versus um you know shooting 24 out of 2.8 it just there's a 
kind of a difference for me and uh, don't have no regrets. I actually regret not buying this lens sooner. Alrighty, so the next lens that I brought with me for my travel films and my travel trip was this big beast right here, which is a 70-200 2.8. Now, when I was packing up all my gear and debating on what I was gonna bring, this chunky boy, the weight and the size, mm, just maybe kind of not, you know, you know what, but I have no regrets bringing this lens with me. As a matter of fact, I won't ever doubt bringing this lens anymore to any uh, times that I go travel and I want to make a travel film or do, you know, photos and stuff, uh, travel photos. This lens is fantastic for landscapes. Uh, if you're going with your family anywhere and you're shooting portraits of your family, this lens can do it all. It can do landscapes and it really is a great landscape lens. And you're going to hear a lot of YouTubers saying that, you know, the 7200 is a great landscape lens and you're like thinking in your head, why? How is that possible? Um, you know, you need wide angle lenses to capture landscapes. Not necessarily true. You get far enough and you start photographing mountains with this lens it makes the mountains look huge. I've always reached for this lens when I was shooting landscapes. It was just a really fantastic lens. And as far as to record audio, I was using that Rode VideoMic NTG. I made a review on it. And if you wanna see a review that I did on the Rode VideoMic NTG, I'll put a link in there. It records great audio. We're going on two years owning it. It still performs really great. Honestly, I charge this thing like once a month and um, it still lasts for a whole month of recording YouTube vlogs and YouTube videos. So. I keep it and it's still working. Alrighty, so now we're gonna talk about the backpack that I brought, my travel bag, my everyday bag, where I carried all of my gear. All of this gear, I kept it into one bag. Can you guess what bag it is? Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what bag you think I brought. Are you ready? It's actually not what you think. It's actually, oh, oh my gosh, it's taking up the whole frame. Here, I gotta move everything over, there. So actually, it's the Peak Design Everyday Backpack, the 30 liter. Now I know, whatever, people are gonna be like, you don't buy the Peter McKinnon bag, you didn't buy the new, no I didn't buy the new Peter McKinnon bag because I don't got a million bucks to buy a bag, okay? Granted, it looks like a great bag, okay? But I was in a pinch, you can see. It. So on this top shelf here is where I carried my, you know, I would put my camera in here and then my microphone and all that stuff and then I would just kind of like put it in there and then kind of just like shut it or you can, latch it so like people can't steal it or whatever. It has side axis, so then you can also access your camera from the side if you want. And so my 7200 would fit nicely in here. My camera would fit like, I don't know, somewhere in here. I would just throw it in here. And then my drone, I put my drone in here, my batteries, my remote. You get the point, right? Like I just put everything in here. On the back side, there's a little zipper here and you're able to store your laptop in here and i have the 16 inch macbook pro and it fits perfectly in there and i'm able to fit the charger my mouse my ssd drives all in this little side pocket here this back po this back pocket here and so while we were driving on the road sometimes we'd be driving for three or four hours at a time to get where we needed to go while we were driving i bust out my macbook boom edit photos post to social media that sort of thing while people were driving i can't say enough good things about it if you liked anything in this video i'm going to link everything down in the description below as always and and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.